Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you a really quick recipe for my cranberry applesauce. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a picture on Instagram where I was actually making this and I had everyone ask if I could share a recipe with you. I have shared many uh, cranberry sauce recipes, but I figured, who cares? It's the holiday season. Can you ever get enough cranberry sauce recipes? I know I can't. Now, for a lot of people, I know that at Christmas time, you tend to make, um, you know, cranberry sauce, turkey, mashed potatoes, all those wonderful things. So I figured I would share this recipe with you um, just because it's the perfect time to do it. Let me get started. And also, this is wonderful. Leftovers are wonderful on top of oatmeal or yogurt. My brother-in-law, since I bought a double batch to his house, and my brother-in-law sent a picture to me the next day with cranberry sauce leftover on top of oatmeal with, um, I think it was a little bit of um, granola on top, and he said it was amazing. So there's that. Couldn't be easier. Now you're gonna need very basic ingredients, of fresh cranberries. These are some diced apples. I'm using Honeycrisp apples because that's what I always have on hand. Sugar, an orange, and I've got some cranberry juice. You can also just use water, but Joe loves cranberry juice, so I have it in the fridge, and it really just sort of boosts up that cranberry flavor, so that's what I'm using as my liquid. Really easy. Everything basically goes into a saucepan. You got your cranberries, your apples, sugar, and then you just add your cranberry juice. Then I need the zest of half of an orange. I love orange and cranberries together, so to me, it's really kind of a must-have because it just perfumes everything so well. You know, there are flavors that go so, so well together, and I just love it. So this is a really big, fat orange, so I'm only gonna do a little less than half of an orange. And then I want the juice of a whole orange because I want a little extra juice because I've got the apples in there. So just cut it in half. I've got this thing here, which I'm excited to use. I always use things backwards, of course, because that's just the way I roll. Let's see if we can fit it all in there. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Perfect. Set that aside. Give everything a really good stir. I mean, look at those colors. To me, they just scream festive. They're so, the smell's so fantastic. And now all you need to do is pop this on the hob on medium and let that simmer for about, I would say, once it comes up to a boil, you turn it down to about, you know, medium low-ish and you let that simmer away for about 10 to 15 minutes or until your cranberries have all popped. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. That looks fantastic. Once it came to a boil, I just let it simmer for 15 minutes until pretty much all the cranberries popped and then I just turned it off and let it sit for a few minutes. It will thicken as it sits and when you put it in the fridge, since the cranberries have natural pectin in them, it will thicken quite a bit. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna pop this into my, red, into my white bowl so that you could see how beautifully red that is. And look at that, and the best part about it is that all the apples still kept their shape. I love this, and I have to tell you a secret. I love cranberry sauce warm way more than I like it cold. I like it warm, just stirred into things. I like it on top of ice cream. I like it just about on anything because all that fabulous juice is just phenomenal. So that's why I'm gonna just sneak a taste right now. Although, do give it a second to cool because you've got sugar in there and you don't want to burn yourself. But that apple that's now infused with that cranberry flavor is phenomenal. And look at that, it still kept a nice shape. It's not mushy, like it didn't turn into applesauce, which I love. Salivating and ready, to wait, like ready and waiting to eat this. I love it so much. It's not too sweet. The apple is still slightly, slightly tart. If you plan on making cranberry sauce at all around this holiday season, that is the cranberry sauce you, be, you should be making. It is delicious, hot, cold, however you like to serve it. That's a money maker. I'm gonna have this recipe ready for you on LaraInTheKitchen.com. I hope that you make it and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we do. I'll see you next time. Bye.